since my diagnosis of dementia, I've made sure that I get out there and connect with other people so that I've, I've got something to talk about. And I find that the times when I'm not busy doing things, those are the times when I can start, sit down and start getting a little bit maudlin. So you get your diagnosis and then you think, well, what now, you know? Um, because you forget the fact that you're still the same person the day after your diagnosis as you were the day before. And to stop that, you've then got to, you've got to realize that you, you still have, you're still the person you are. Um, and the only way to do that is to, to go out and uh, stay connected with the world. I found that there was a whole new world opened up to me, um, the whole new dementia world, getting me out and about and getting me involved in things. And the more involved I became, the more I realized that yes, you know, life, life is still good. And there's so many things that I can still do. Still being connected gives me that, that sense of purpose. And um, a sense of self-worth. That's 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 essential to going on. That that um, that you still have value. I mean, I know some people who who stopped doing their hobbies um, because they thought that's it. Well, I can't do it anymore um, because I've got dementia. I play a lot in brass bands, and I took it back up again. And it was something I'd done since the age of eleven, and and I stopped doing it. And there was just a big hole in my life. That, that sense of purpose, that going out and the playing along with the other people and playing on the bandstands and, and all the give and take that if you isolate yourself, then it, it, what, what have you got? So you've got to be, you've got to stay connected and get involved in as much as you can. It definitely does. The, they, um, they, like to, they like to see me busy. I think it takes away that that fear that you know that of what's going to be happening in the future and, and that um that, that all the time they see me busy and doing things and staying connected then they then they, it makes them happy to know that i'm still functioning and so all the time i'm busy then then that's that's happy and they haven't got to worry so much about me then have they um because they they can't help it they, they're going to worry aren't they so yes i think that gives some positivity in their life to see that I'm can be positive. They see the benefit that you're getting from it and, and therefore they're gaining that benefit as well. You've got to go out and find it. It, it won't come to you. So you, you've got to go and find it and you've got to try these various things out. And, and certainly it's worth going along to the various uh, dementia groups. Um, I mean, when you first look at it, you think, oh, I don't think I want to go along to that. But you've got to go along and try them. You, the, you know, the first groups you go to may not be for you. They might not be the right ones. But, but there are groups out there and there are people out there who understand. And certainly, if you're connecting with people who are living with dementia, then they, they automatically understand the challenges and difficulties that you're having. And, and so um, you've got this this basis for a friendship before you even start i always say you know um dementia comes in cans you, you you just can do things and the more you do the more you realize you can do and the more it lifts you back up and and helps you get through the the rougher periods where uh where you start thinking oh no i can't do this i can't do that but there's so many other things you can do that that, it, that gives you that sense of purpose to, to get on and get on with the rest of your life.